I have to make an apology. As you know, I did a bit of a deep dive of the solo music of the B2B members, and as you know, I did so for the active members. I wasn't trying to imply anything by um, excluding Ihun from that. It was mostly just because I don't know B2B very well. So I did not know the circumstances of which he left the group, so I didn't know whether it was on good terms or not. I just wanted to play it safe and decided to only do the active members. But it seems, according to you guys, that Melody still very much love Ihun and uh, still very much support him, kind of hope he's coming back to the group. So I'm sorry, it was not meant, meant as anything malicious. So I'm here to correct my wrongs and check out She's Gone by Ihun, uh, which was the song you guys suggested by him. I can see that it's six years old, so it's not really new. Seems like it was back when he was still in B2B because it's on the B2B channel. Uh, but I... I don't know if he has done anything more recent. This is the song I got suggested, so that is the one I'm going to check out. Again, I am so sorry if I made it seem like I wanted to exclude him completely. It was just to play it safe. Maybe I should do uh, I should do the um, the guide next because clearly there's a lot I don't know. So again, I'm sorry, let's jump into it. And just like I mentioned with uh, Hyunjik and uh, Songjae, I don't know anything about Ilhun, I don't know what his voice sounds like, I know nothing of him. So this is going to be a complete uh, clean slate when it comes to him. I know nothing of him other than he's a former member of B2B. So, keep that in mind. And because we're only taking this one song, in this video I'm going to do it my usual way, which is to check the music video without the subtitles first, so I can only get the visuals and how it sounds, so I don't have to focus on three things at once. And then I'm going to take it again with the subtitles afterwards, so I can get some context. So, here we go. Okay. Yeah, interesting. He has a very cool tone of voice. Hey! He has a very good accent in the English. Is he fluent? I really like his flow. I 
I love how gritty that both the sound but also the way they have chosen to do the music video. I could imagine this would be cool in concert. Especially with this part, just audience participation. Oh! Okay, loving the breaks. Whoa. Okay, the dude dancing on the staircase. I was worried he was gonna hurt himself. This is very catchy. Oh god. <laughs> Oof. Okay. <gasps> I'm dropping my ship. My poor phone. Okay. This is a very catchy song. Um, seems like it's a post-breakup song, but I'm gonna take it once again with the subtitles to get a little more um, context. There might be some pausing in this second time around, mostly because if I can't keep up with reading all of it. Like, I, I'm a pretty fast reader, but sometimes trying to keep up with the subtitles uh, during rap parts can be very difficult, especially if they choose to only do one line at a time. Then it can be very, very difficult. So maybe I'm going to be pausing a bit. We'll see. Let's start over. Okay. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I just when when English is not your first language, I just saw the first line with peace sign with no index finger. Which one is index? Oh. Oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> that is a creative way of flipping someone off, but okay. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Bad breakup, okay. <laughs> okay. Like, he's pissed. He's pissed. Oh. Interesting. We don't often get these love songs where it's. Like, the love songs I've seen through K-pop has not been angry breakup songs. So, I... Th this is interesting. Mm. This is incredibly catchy. 
And the gritty nature really fits how like he's really angry in this. Almost like he's angry that it hurts that she left. He just wants to be past that. And the guitar riffs in the background with the drops here. That's so good. Oh, this is gonna be stuck in my head. This power is, is so freaking good. Okay, I'm so sorry for, <laughs> for excluding him, and thank you guys so much for still giving me like some grace to to actually be able to check this out and ask me to check it out anyways. I enjoy this. Oh my god! <laughs> Please tell me like, uh, has he come out with more music than the album this was on and? Is it the same vibe? Uh, is the album the same vibe? Not necessarily angry all of it, but the, I really like the vibe of this. Jesus! And I'm usually not one to be like, okay, rap heavy songs, gimme gimme gimme. Like, usually not. Um, it ha have, has kind of changed actually after I've gotten into K-pop, I've been more open to rap. Not just within K-pop and like K-hip-hop, but in general, uh, after getting into K-pop, I've also uh, been more open to rap in Western music as well. So, like, I don't think I would have liked this a couple, of like, a handful of years ago. Like when this song dropped, for example, six years ago, I don't think I would have liked it back then. But now... Like, th this is really freaking cool. So yeah, suggestions are, are always open. Um, because you guys clearly know what you're talking about. So yeah, I will get to them when I get to them. I, I am trying to get through some, some suggestions right now, as well as doing uh, checking out things I've wanted to for myself. So I am gonna get to it at some point. And again, I'm so sorry I missed him. In the last video to be honest then i probably would have split it up into like separate videos because already with the amount of songs in the past video it was so long and it was so hard to get a caption or anything to to that video so yeah i'm just glad i finally checked this out because this was freaking cool thank you so much for the su suggestion if you watched all the way through, thank you so much, and I will see you on the next one. Please leave some suggestions. Bye.